progression, this is the third one in your stomach, with your knees bent, toes pointing to the ceiling, you're going to slowly separate your feet apart, and you're going to feel a pulling pain on your back, gentle enough, that's not too much, if you can tolerate it. So you inhale, and then exhale back to the center, and then open, and keeping it in the bent position. Always remember, keep your head down. Are you suffering from back spasms after performing some high impact activities such as lifting weights or sports activities? Hi, my name is Annie and welcome to my channel, Annie Pilates Physical Therapist. In this video, I'll be demonstrating seven Pilates and physical therapy based programs that you can fuse together to apply on your back to help relieve any back spasm, tightness, pain, and involuntary muscle guarding if you exacerbate your spine. So get your mat ready and join me. Okay, my friends, we'll start on your stomach position. I have a video for facet syndrome that you can check out the link in the info card. If you have facet syndrome where your back has spasm as well, there's other programs you can try to apply. But this video is for those who doesn't want to kneel on their knees because of knee pain. So this is great for anyone with knee replacement or knee injury. So in your stomach area, if you have a facet syndrome, try not to hyperextend your spine because when you're having spasm already, your facet joints are already jammed together. So you want to extend and lower a little bit. You can place your head between your forearm with your elbows bent to rest your neck. So my recommendation is keeping it low and down and you can turn your head on one side. And the first exercise is you're going to turn your head on your right while bending your right knee. So when you do that, you're really relieving some tension in your quadriceps with your breathing as you inhale, bend, exhale down. And you, then you and then you alternate to the other side, bend your left knee with your foot pointing up and slowly turn your head to the other side and then exhale down. Turn your head to the right as you bend your right knee. Try your best to pull it closer to your buttock, your heel and then turn to the other side. Try not to hyperextend your back. If there's any pins and needles going down your legs, stop. You want to make sure it's not getting worse on your facet syndrome. Or if you have this bulge, this is still safe as long as there's no more pain going down your leg as you bend your knee. So inhale slow and easy. One breath, one motion. Exhale down. Inhale to the left. And you feel that pull on your back. Exhale down. Inhale. Squeeze your core in. And down. And my recommendation is to do this 10 times. Single knee bend with head rotation to the side where you're bending your knee. And don't forget your breathing. Pulling your belly button in to engage your core muscles. Inhale. Exhale. Last set. And last one on your right. Inhale. Exhale down. And last one on your left. The next progression is bending both knees. So as you bend both knees towards you, you're going to feel more pull across your back. So try not to hyperextend your neck, keeping your head down as you inhale. Exhale down, belly button in, and blow, inhale, exhale, and my recommendation as you bend, you inhale, and exhale down and relax, we'll do this 10 times, we have 4 more to go, bend, 
extend slow and easy as you inhale exhale last two inhale exhale last one and down and the next progression this is the third one in your stomach with your knees bent toes pointing to the ceiling you're going to slowly separate your feet apart and you're going to feel a pulling pain on your back gentle enough that's not too much if you can tolerate it so you inhale and then exhale back to the center and then open and keeping it in the bent position always remember keep your head down with your breath work and this is also 10 times you might find one leg a little bit stiffer and much more difficult to open and that's normal and that could be the side where you have the pain more on your back so if you have a facet syndrome I discussed it in my previous video as so you check the link on my info card or down in the description below why facet syndrome happens and how to release the tension on that joint on each vertebral body we have facet joints two more inhale exhale feels so good now on your back last one and blow okay my friends now we're gonna slowly lie on your back and just three simple exercises on your stomach to slowly progress because your back is still very inflamed so I'm lying on your back now you're gonna start taking a deep breath in this position as you inhale exhale squeeze your core in and relax now slowly place your ankle on the opposite leg to do a piriformis stretch for your four and gently press your knee out and feel that pull on your back slow and easy and my recommendation is to hold that for 10 seconds hold while pushing it out while pulling your belly button in to engage your core muscles and exhaling through your mouth deep breathing helps relax the spasm in your mind and to not to clench your body your muscles Now let's switch it up to the other side figure four and slowly push it out and you feel one side might be a little bit more stiff and tight and you, sometimes you can feel it on your bottom or across your back as you push your knee out gently inhale and exhale now we're gonna switch it up to the other side again and now we can slowly progress by lifting your knees towards your chest. If this is too difficult to hug both knees in figure four, my recommendation is just continue with pushing your knee out in figure four earlier, like what we did earlier, and do that five reps. But this is a gentle progression for those who can tolerate hugging your knees to your chest. And you might feel some pulling sensation on your bottom and across your back and that's normal so you, as you exhale you will release it and you feel a little bit better on your back now switch it up to the other side inhale and slowly hug your knees to your chest and as i said earlier you might feel one side a little bit more pain or back spasm that you need to release and you can feel all the way in your buttock Cross your back and your butt again it feels so good it's a good pain when ever you're done stretching as you release it there's less pain but if you're having more pain stop it means it's a different kind of condition it could be more disc herniation this is more like a back muscle strain only or a facet syndrome video so you take a deep breath exhale through your mouth and you can slowly progress by shifting your body weight left and right to mobilize your spine a little bit 
while you're in figure four position. Slow and easy. Try not to rock too fast or too aggressive. And slowly go down. If you can't rock left and right yet, that's fine. You can slowly progress. Now your right foot over your left thigh is the last one for this video. And you can do progress up to 10 repetitions, whatever your body can tolerate. Inhale, exhale. And now slowly rock left and right. Slow and easy on your body. You know, you don't want to be too aggressive, as I said earlier. And you can pull closer as much as you can to your chest. And then slowly go down. My next exercise, if you have more spasm on your left, my recommendation is to cross your right over your left. Twist it up if you can. If you can't place your foot behind your calf, you can just keep it crossed and gently arms open and twist on one side towards the left and then turn your head towards the right. And you're gonna feel some pulling pain on your back to relieve the tension in your hips. However, if your pain is in both sides, then you can do the other way around as well. And my recommendation is to hold it up to 10 seconds hold. As you twist, slowly lower both knees on one side and then turn your head on the opposite side. And if this is too aggressive for you right now, stop. Always gently progress, and that's why we have more exercises to choose from in this video. No one's the same on their tolerance, on their pain level. As you inhale, slowly place it back in the center. And we'll do this even just three times for now in this video. And you can progress to 10 as you get more flexible and pain subsides. My recommendation as well is to put some heating pads on your back for at least 20 minutes before you start this program so your body is a little bit more limber and flexible back to the center now your back is feeling so much better already twist and place it behind your calf now slowly lower to the left and you can do alternating to release the tension and feel your body if there's any numbness going down your leg if it's getting worse then stop you don't want to make the pain go down your leg you want to centralize it across your back so as i said earlier if your pain is in your left cross your right and you're going to turn to the left and if your pain is on your right cross your left and then you're going to twist towards the right and you want to make sure the pain is not going down but instead it's just across your back pulling up and releasing the tension there okay my friend so that's the fifth exercise and then we are going to hug one knee towards your chest gently keeping the other knee bent so this is the Six exercise, knee to chest, slow and easy. And my recommendation is to hold that 10 seconds hold with your breath work. Now the leg feels so good on your hips. And my recommendation, you can start five times for now and slowly progress to 10 times. Knee to chest, slow and easy. And you might find one hip a little bit stiffer or more pain in your back. And that's normal if you have one sided more pain than the other leg. Knee to chest. And you might feel your hip groin area, a little bit spasm and tightness or sharp pain and then down 
last one on the other side you need to just slow and easy you don't want to yank your knee to your chest you want to just slowly bend it and feel the tension releasing deep inside your hip joint so you take a deep breath inhale and exhale and the last exercise we are going to a wall and I'll show you how to do it so get up okay my friends so we have a wall here so if your spasm is on your right my recommendation is to place your left foot forward near the wall with slightly knee bent right foot back hands leveled on the wall touching with palms open and then one lower it lower your right hand down with your right leg back and slowly twist towards the left and back so you're going to slowly do a gentle glide as much as you can before any pain going down your leg making sure when you turn you might feel a little bit stiffness and stretching and then back and do that 10 times and now if your pain is on your left you're going to slowly twist towards the right and you might feel some pulling pain opening on your left so your right foot forward turning to the right slowly twist to the right and back center slowly twist as you cross your hand under your right so i'm gliding my left hand twisting my body with my right knee forward slightly bent as i go twist and hold it for at least five seconds hold five four three two one and uh, back so let's repeat again if your back spasm is both sides just do it in both legs so left hand leveled with your right first with your knee slightly bent on your left and then your right going under your left arm as you twist your body to the left so what i'm doing i'm opening my facet joint on my left and doing a simple like a sliding door opening on your spine slow and easy you don't want to yank your spine you just do it slow and easy and feel the stretch in your legs at the same time in your calf area slowly twist your body and then back center and do that 10 times right foot forward and your back might be feeling a little bit better already slowly twist your left hand going underneath your right and your body is turning to the right so what's happening i'm opening my left facet joint however no one's the same if you feel like this is getting worse and there's more pain going down your leg then do the opposite side because no one's the same on how their body works some patients feel better if they have back spasm on the right and they twist away towards the left and sometimes they feel so much better going the other way around the purpose is to lift your back and making sure you centralize the pain but if the pain goes down your leg more then it's getting worse you want to make sure you centralize the pain on your back more so twist to the left and that's it that's how we target our spine if you have back spasm after a sports injury or weight training and i'm hoping you learn a lot about health and wellness and how to take care of your spine if you have mild exacerbation or excruciating pain and you need to relieve it i'm hoping you find value on my video content and if you love this you want to learn more about pilates yoga and physical therapy health and wellness please subscribe to my channel ring the bell so you won't miss anything share this video to any one of your friends loved ones who will benefit they won't miss anything about pilates yoga physical therapy health and wellness if you have any questions suggestions or concerns leave a comment down below I'm trying my best to answer each one of you or directly on my social media so i can better serve you and if you have any video requests if you want to be part of my back master class that i will be reopening next year click the link down below 
sign your name and email address so you can be notified for your small intimate class. Always remember, be safe, be well and healthy you until my next video training. Bye!